We're in the town of Tombstone, Arizona, and it's the home of the OK Corral. And it was started by Ed Sheffelin, who was a silver miner way back in 1881. It's a tough talk coming out of a dead man. You weren't boys had your chance to run us out of Tombstone, but we are still here. And we are done talking about this. This don't end today, wife. Come on, boys. Frank, Billy. Who's the other one? Tom. Tom. <laughs> Doc, if you're coming with us, that means you're gonna have to listen to me. You hang back and take this. Here you go. Boys, throw up your hands. You want your guns. Go! I don't want that! You want to fight? I don't want this one! Get the fight! Folks, that's been our show. Thanks for spending time with us at the OK Corral. Adios! In 1881, the uh, little town or the little camp of Tombstone was just a silver camp. The town population became uh, 10,000, and it was the largest city between uh, San Francisco and St. Louis. So the silver mines in, in Tombstone started uh, getting water seeping into them, and the pumps couldn't keep up, and the, the mines were flooded. So due to the demise of the silver mines here in Tombstone, the nearby town of Bisbee became the county seat. All right, well, here we are in Bisbee, Arizona, and we're about to go and tour the Queen Mine, which is a copper mine. This mine was active until 1975. Well, we just completed the underground queen mine tour, and now we are looking at the open pit mine, which is called the Lavender Pit, and it's named after Harrison Lavender. We are uh, here in Sierra Vista, Arizona, and we're doing some geocaching, and I got some serious news to tell you. I got shingles. Yep, they were just on the side of the road, and there's one back over there, and one right over there, and I can see where if you get hit by this, how painful shingles could be. Mm -hmm. 